Hi Gemini, this is your love reading for uh, November, 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 2020, okay, <laughs> I was going to say October, but I'm like, no, it's the November one, so this is your reading, I really hope that it helps you, of course, for love, and also just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month, if you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will be in the description box below, they're done within 24 to 48 hours, and the last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets are on Etsy, so they are handmade, meditated with, saged, and they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. So I'm actually wearing the intention bracelets here. So I'm wearing um, actually the love, the soulmate, the twin flame and the singles bracelets. There's also so many other bracelets for other areas of your life. So definitely do check those out because there's just so many and there's also teas and crystals and just so much stuff on my Etsy store that you may enjoy so <laughs> just you know if you wanted to have a little browse uh, no pressure at all and of course the review section is on there so do check that out if you're interested um, everything is meditated with it's saged and um, yes there's amazing stuff on there <laughs> I would say that because of course it's my Etsy store and a lot of work and time goes into that as well so I've got your cards here we're gonna do a full spread so we'll see what's coming through and uh, let's see okay so I'm also going to use oracle cards right at the end as well um yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a row for you a row for them and a row for the outcome that way we're getting quite specific um as well I just thought that, that would be quite a nice spread to start introducing on my channel because I feel like that can give you so much more of an insight as to what the other person is thinking or feeling and things like that and then also what would specifically happen in November so for you we've got here the four of cups okay and I'm just going to do this so that we can get a nice look at the cards as well four of cups seven of swords queen of wands and the six of swords so you've got the six and the seven for them we have here the three of swords I know it's looking a little crazy, bear with it, Fool. This Queen of Swords was at the bottom of the deck and I was looking at it and I, I was quite intrigued by it actually, so there we go. Ah, oh, Queen, Queen of Pentacles. And then for the outcome, we've got here the Four of Swords, we've got the Page of Cups, We've got the Five of Pentacles and let's see what the last card here is. The Eight of Pentacles. Do you know what's really interesting here is that this other person is learning some form of a karmic lesson. And they it's almost like they have to learn this particular lesson in order to really appreciate you. That's what I'm seeing here. So I just feel like whoever it is that you're dealing with, or even if you don't have someone in your life and there's perhaps a soulmate or a twin flame you wish to manifest, this person has clearly got to learn some kind of a lesson in November. I'm not surprised because you have got the Mars retrograde kicking in and well it's been happening since September but it ends in November and the thing with the Mars retrograde is it kind of also goes... <sighs> Astrologically, it doesn't go into December, but I have, I've always seen so many examples of how the Mars retrograde sort of goes beyond its time and really does serve a lot of lessons also, um, you know, throughout the rest of the month as well. Could be the shadow period, in all honesty, and it sort of stems into December, and I think that's why, because it has, you know, every retrograde has its own shadow period, which is actually probably what it is. So, um, the Three of Swords here really shows that they have to learn some kind of a lesson to really appreciate you in their life. And you see this a lot with a lot of different relationships as well, and this person has got to learn that as well. They... I think they're going to be crying over a situation or they're going to feel really hurt to the point where they will then start to think about you and they'll start to think about the genuine care, the genuine love, the genuine energy that you provide to a situation and just how loyal you are. So this fool here shows 
this uh, opportunity for growth for them. Now, on your side, you're feeling quite rejected, and it's very, very obvious from this Four of Cups. It's like you're trying to do your own thing, but you just can't help but feel really rejected, dejected, not so great, not so uh, excited about things happening here. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry if that is you. In this situation. See, this person here is definitely thinking about you with this Queen of Swords energy, whether you're male or female. Seven of Swords here really does show that maybe you're you're trying to um, you know get their attention or, or do certain things, or some of you may have begged and pleaded or really you know picked up the phone and tried to say certain things which may have pushed this person back further. Obviously, if this person's not in your life, then that's not really gonna resonate. But the seven of swords shows self-sabotaging. I mean, the thing here with this particular card is it's really showing that obviously you can't really make someone love you, right? You can only really love yourself and put energy into yourself and do the best that you can in that sense. But what I do see here, the Seven of Swords, is essentially the spirit guide saying, you know, take it easy on yourself. Just because you're not getting necessarily the desired outcome or result here doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be like this forever but make sure you take care of yourself otherwise the seven of swords shows you mentally and emotionally feeling very very drained so that's why the queen of wands is here this is about taking care of your hobbies your personal goals and just lifting up that vibrational energy so you feel empowered and you don't feel like you're just depending on this situation to unfold and uh, the queen of wands is lovely because it shows in november you're feeling strong you're feeling confident like yes you go through this period of uh, this like brief moment of just feeling really really not great emotionally very overwhelmed but this is you emotionally moving to a better place which is really great okay so you feel rejected you don't feel so good you feel like oh my energy is just all over the place and then you start to really uplift yourself in terms of the energy and November actually brings that to you so you don't have to go searching for your own energy it just comes to you, you wake up one day feeling pretty good you know so that's what we're seeing there and of course it can still be up and down now, in regards to this person, the lesson that I see here can be a karmic lesson that they deal with with perhaps somebody else, okay? Because we do have the Queen of Pentacles, which um, is a little bit sketchy, okay? So it, it, especially when you've got the three there is when you've got two queens as well here. Technically, we have three queens, but I still see this uh, Queen of Swords as your energy, and I still also see this Queen of Wands as your energy because it's part of your your energy. But this queen here is uh, what I'm looking at. So I do feel that perhaps someone here just really serves them a big dose of karma and is like, you know, you can't go around just doing this. You have to be serious now and um, not so spontaneous or not just so uh, unpredictable because this person could have been quite unpredictable and it's almost like they're learning this lesson to understand what they should and shouldn't be doing. Now for the outcome here, the five of pentacles does show that you may be feeling a little bit left out in the cold here in November, but for the most part, I see you feeling a lot more rested. I also feel here that this person can come to you with some form of an apology. That's what I see with the Page of Cups. Or for those of you that are completely single, there can be this entry that is made in November. Now, what I will say, the shadow period also goes into December. So just note that the outcome can vary, okay? But the Four of Swords here shows rest, it shows peace, and it also shows this person not feeling as overwhelmed. And also on your part as well, this four matches to your own vibrational energy, to a much more peaceful energy rather than just feeling really rejected. Um, this eight of pentacles is really about a lot of self-work as well that I feel you're going to be doing within yourself. So you may feel really lonely and then you may feel like, you know what, actually I'm going to change that. I'm going to put energy and time into the things that really matter for me. And I'm going to let this entire situation work out because, yeah, this person's definitely learning a lot in November and some of you may have actually wished and prayed that this person would just sort of get themselves together and understand that it's not okay to do certain things like this. So definite karmic lesson is, um, is being served. Well, isn't that interesting? So let's have a look and see what message we have from the Oracle cards. Separation, a time apart for you. Uh, from your partner is on the horizon and I'm not surprised by this message because in all honesty we've got this energy of you feeling rejected, feeling left out in the cold, feeling uh, separated from this person. This is time apart, this is not necessarily what I feel is a full-on separation as in like lifelong, this is just a temporary situation that uh, we have here. So that is pretty much that. That is your reading, Gemini. I really hope it helped you. I hope it gave you tons of clarity, information, knowledge. Um, and yes, that is pretty much what we have got going on. So yeah, this is your reading. Take care, stay safe, and I really hope 
that it helps, everything's in the description box below for your convenience, private paid readings, free reading giveaway, intention bracelets, everything, so do check that out as well, okay, so take care, bye bye everyone, 